Hello everyone, welcome to Keto Blogging and in this video I will share you some tips and tricks that will help you save time and improve your productivity using the Gutenberg blocks in WordPress. So I have opened a blog post and let's check how you can remove the pre-published check inside the Gutenberg post editor. So when I click on the publish button it will show a pre-published check like this. So you can remove this pre-published check just by clicking on this three dot icon and then let's go to the preference and here you will see this option include pre-published check so just turn off it and in the next time when i click on the publish button it will directly publish it for you so in this way we can disable the pre-published check and save some time using this feature now let's check how you can embed youtube videos to your wordpress blog post so the easiest way to add embed YouTube video is just by copy the YouTube video URL like this and let's hit enter and I will paste that link directly in the post editor and it will add the YouTube embed like this. So if you want to embed a blog post in the similar way just by copy and another post URL like this and let's hit enter here and I will paste that URL like this and it will create a embed for you. So in this way you can embed YouTube videos, embed different blog posts like this. So let me just quickly remove it. Now you can also insert image block just by clicking on this slash here and you can find the image block. So let's search for image like this and hit enter. So in this way you can add image to your WordPress post editor and you can also add different elements like if you want to add a heading then you can just hit slash and simply search for heading block and it will add a heading block like this and there are different ways you can add a image block to your wordpress website so let me just simply drag an image from here and it will add that image to your wordpress post editor so let me just drag it from here and I will add that image here. So as you can see the image is uploaded to our WordPress website and add it to your post editor. And if you want to add multiple images and create a gallery then what I can do is just simply copy all the images and drag it from here and I will drop it here. Now it will create a gallery like this. And as you can see the gallery is created so let me just select the gallery here and let's increase the column like this and you can also decrease the column like this and you can also link to attachment page or media file and you can open it in a new tab you can also change the image size like this so you can just name a all text here so select this one and you can all add all text to all of the images now let's select the gallery block and let's click on the open media gallery and let's edit the gallery and you can add caption here and you can delete any of the images from the gallery like this and you can also manually add gallery by clicking on this button add to gallery now let me just remove the gallery here and if you want to add a heading to your post editor suppose you want to add a h3 heading then what i can do is just click on the plus icon and add the heading and then you need to change it to h3 but to fast track this process you can just add like three hash here and hit space and it will add the h3 tag for you and if you want to add like h5 tag then what i can do is just add 5 hash here and hit space and it will add the h5 tag for you so in this way you can save some time adding headings to your blog post now let me just remove it and suppose you want to remove unnecessary blocks from here so suppose let me just find a block like i don't use cover block in my blog post and i don't use the media and text file here 
then what I can do is just click on the three dot icon and I will click on the preference here. Now I will click on the block here and I will search for the block. So let's find this block. Like I don't use the cover block then I can just uncheck it and I don't use the file block. So let's uncheck it. And when I click on this plus button and I will search for the cover block then it will not show up here. So in this way you can remove unnecessary blocks from these sections and make it well organized. And you can also remove the most used section from here just by clicking on the same preference button here. Let's click on block and you can disable the so most used blocks. And you can also add block different elements like let me just scroll down and I don't use the theme features like navigation, site logo, site title. So I can just uncheck it and all the block will be unchecked and it will be removed from this section. So the theme section will be gone here. So in this way you can remove any block from your WordPress post editor. Now let's check how you can bulk delete multiple blocks in your post editor. Suppose I want to delete multiple blog posts then what I can do is just select the first block here and then I will hold shift and select the block that I want to delete and I can just click on the three dot icon and I can just remove the block. So in this way you can remove multiple blocks in your post editor. Now let's check how you can group multiple elements. So suppose I want to group these two paragraphs. Then what I can do is just select these two paragraph here and I will select this group icon. So just select it and it will create a group for you. And here you can click on this button like this and it will show the paragraph side by side. And you can also add a background color. So let me just add a background color and let's change the text color. And in this way you can display a group blog like this. And you can also click on the row here and let's click on the log button and let's click on log all. Now it, it, it will be lock and you can remove this position. Suppose you can just change this position but if you click on this group it will not change the position only you can change the left and right position like this. Now let's click on the first block and as you can see when I click on the block it will show a top bar like this. So if you don't want to show the top bar again and again then what I can do is just click on the three dot icon and I will enable the top toolbar and the toolbar will be fixed at the top and you can easily now change different elements and if you want to bold it then just select the element and use this top bar to edit your text. So in this way you can remove these elements and keep it stick at the top position. Now let's click on the three dot icon and you can also enable the spot light mode. So it will only highlight the block that you are currently working and it will show as a fade like this. So spotlight mode is good if you want to concentrate on a particular block. So I don't generally use this spotlight mode. So let's deselect it. And you can also enter a full screen mode where you will see all the default WordPress menu while editing the blog post. And you can easily jump to different sections like media just by clicking on the media button like this. Now let's check how you can highlight text inside the WordPress post editor. And what I can do is just select one of the text like this. So let me just select this text here and I will click on the drop down arrow here and I will select this option highlight and I can add a highlight color. So let me just add the highlight background to something like yellow. And as you can see, it will add a yellow highlight to this text. So this is a quite handy features to highlight some of the important text in your post editor. And let's click on the drop down arrow and you can also add inline code to your paragraph and you can also add subscript superscript but these are not that useful at all. Now if you want to 
add the same block pattern to multiple blog posts then you can create it as a reusable block so let me just select this element and i will select the whole row here and then i will add it to a reusable block so let's add reusable block and let me just name it like a table or or a grid table you can name it anything let's click on save here now it will convert it to a reusable block so let me just open an another blog post and let me just edit the edit this blog post here now let me just add that reusable block so let me just click on plus here and let's click on browse all now let's click on the reusable block and let's select this element again now it will add that element in this blog post and if you want to make changes to this particular block and don't want to change the reusable block then you have to select the block and convert it to a regular block and you can delete any of the elements so let me just remove the paragraph here so it will not affect the whole reusable block and it will only affect to this particular element so in this way you can add different reusable blocks in your blog post so suppose you want to display offer section to your blog post and you don't want to create the same element again and again in all blog posts then you can use the reusable blog functionality in gutenberg post editor and another feature is so let me just click on the post here and here you will see this option like xop and here you will see this option like discussion tags so i don't use this xop feature because i use the rank math to insert the xop then what i can do is just click on the three dot icon and i will click on the preference here and let's click on the panel and here i can remove this section like i don't want the discussion section here i don't want to add an x of panel like this and you can remove any of the element you don't use inside the post editor now now let's close here now let's click on the setting here and as you can see all the unnecessary sections are gone like discussion or comment sections are gone so in this way you can remove the cluttering inside the gutenberg post editor and you can fast track your editing workflow so if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and leave us your feedback in the comment sections and if you are new to this channel then consider subscribing kitu blogging for more upcoming videos like this and i will see you in the next video thank you